if you should ever uh, be at a, a king family gathering. I'm talking about my wife, my children, my grandchildren. Uh, one of the things that uh, you would observe is we do something called uh, pass me that baby. <laughs> and you say, well, what's that mean? He says, well, everybody wants to take a turn holding the babies. And, and of course, throughout the years, there's generally been a, a baby in the family because our family is growing. And uh, it's just a, a, a blessed thing just to be able to hold that child in your, in your arms and, and just look at them. And, of course, you're watching them grow and develop over the years. And, and now, of course, uh, uh, the ones that were born earlier, they're getting up in age now, and you're watching them grow. And it's just such a wonderful thing. And you just see God at work here in these human Babies that are born and they become children and become adults and all the ways that God has intended it to be. And then I think about what I talked about earlier in the week, what we call or in some societies they call throwaway babies, just throwaway children. They, they have no value to anyone, and they just toss them aside. And, and in some societies, they just leave them to just wander the streets and fend for themselves. And uh, I mentioned uh, the missionaries who are part of the Open Bible Churches that went to India, and they saw this, and they said, we got to do something about it. And they, and they started building these orphanages all over India to be able to give these children a place to live and a place of refuge. Well, my thought is, is that these children in our society here in America that uh, are seemingly unwanted and are throwaway babies, that we who are opposed to that type of thing, we have to make sure that we're willing to put our commitment of finances and our homes to say, hey, we're willing to do something about this. You don't want that child. That child is precious in the eyes of God, and we'll do what it takes to be able to provide for that child. Now, I'm telling you something. Now, that's stepping up, and that's a huge sacrifice for anybody to be willing to make. But if you believe that children are worth saving, it can't just be rhetoric. It's got to be action. The church in America has got to become mobilized. But you know what is interesting to me? Is that you talk to people who want to adopt children, and they, they, they just tell me it's so difficult it's so hard to, to, to find a child and go through all of the hoops and, and all the, the things that has to happen in order to be able to adopt a child. But then here on the other side, you have some people say, well, this is just a throwaway child. We don't want it. We're just going to do whatever it is that they do. And I'm not even going to get into the graphics of what they do. But we know it's cruel and we know it's brutal. And we know as I said yesterday, it breaks the heart of our Heavenly Father, and it should break all of our hearts. This is Pastor Jack King with the Gospel on the radio broadcast.